Hey everybody, today I decided to do a what's in my bag video featuring this Madewell, I think it's the Madewell transport tote bag. Um, but yeah, it's just a bag. It's not any like, I mean, I love it. It's a great bag, but it's not any like big special thing. I just wanted to do a what's in my bag video. And before we get started, the thing that I really, really like about this bag is that it's not, I mean, it's a good size, obviously, um, but it's not too big. Therefore, I don't put too many things in it. Like I don't have a whole bunch of junk in it, which is really good for me because I tend to like keep onto things like trash and like receipts and all that. And then it just piles up in my bag and then there's no room for anything else. Whereas this bag kind of like limits the amount of times that I do that. And I appreciate that with this bag, but it's also not too small. Okay, so we're kind of just gonna start with like the first thing I see in here because I don't really know any other way to do it. Okay, so first I have my journal. It's my bullet journal. And when I say bullet journal, everybody knows what that is. Like, everybody knows what that is. It's such a thing now. Um, but basically, yeah, I just bullet, it, it's like my bullet journal. Um, I'm not very strict with it just because like, it's not really like the type of person that I am. I'm not really good with like lists and stuff. That's why I have this so that I can stay organized. Um, so if I'm being honest, I'm kind of sporadic with it. Like I'll use it sometimes, sometimes I won't. But I always keep it just because I can write ideas down or if I'm grocery shopping, I can write things down that I need. But yeah, I just keep this with me whenever I need it. And then with that, I guess, comes this pin. It's the Le Pin and I hate that it's called that for some reason. I don't know, it's embarrassing to me. <laughs> but it's this really pretty purple color and yeah, it writes just the way that it looks, this purple color and they have so many other colors too. Also, really fun, it's made in Japan. I love Japan stationery. And next up, I have this book. And wow, it's such a good book and you should totally read it if you're not. Um, it's called The Paris Wife and it's by Paula McLean. I hope I said her name right. It's kind of like hard to mess that up, I think. Unless I'm just an idiot, which is probably the case. Um, but it's basically about this woman who meets her in his timing way and they get married, they fall in love, and they move to Paris, and like, I'm just setting the picture. You know it's beautiful. You know it's good. And I kind of have this weird obsession with Ernest Hemingway. I don't know why. I don't know what started it, but I am completely obsessed with him. I love him. I love all of his work. I love all of his work. I love all of his writings. And I love reading about him being in love with someone. Like, this is fiction. This is all fiction. But God, it's so good. It's like a fan fiction for someone who loves Ernest Hemingway, which is perfect for me. So, if you're as crazy and weird as I am, read it. And the, like, even if you're not as crazy and weird as me, the writing is beautiful in this book. It's beautiful. I got a little too excited about that. Okay, I have my wallet and Okay, <laughs> like one of my friends makes fun of me for having this because it's a coach wallet and I'm so not the type of girl to like get a coach wallet. Like that's just not really me, but I really liked the color. I got it for Christmas and it's great for winter time. I kind of want to get something smaller, like a little card holder. Um, but for now I have this, like it's a great wallet. It's gonna last me forever because it's coach. Um, but yeah, I just have like cards, money, birth control. <laughs> in here. Yeah, and just the nest, the things that you put in your wallet I have. In one of Christine's videos, she was talking about how she had like a little red card holder, which I totally want, it's really cute. Um, anyway, she had a little red card holder and she was talking about for like Chinese New Year, um, or like even like Asian families in general, and I hope I'm not butchering this. <laughs> um, if I am, I hope I'm not offending anybody and I'm very sorry. But she was talking about how um, Lunar New Year, Chinese New Year, the parents give the children little red envelopes to like, um, like promote, I guess. It's like a spiritual thing, so it's kind of like to um, promote like money consciousness, money responsibility, and she was talking about how she, it reminded her of one of those little red envelopes that she would get as a child, and she said that ever since then, ever since she bought herself a little red card holder, um, it like, she was more financially responsible, so I thought that was really cool. After I bought the, like, I guess reddish oxblood wallet, I was like, maybe it'll work for me, and it totally hasn't, so. <laughs> okay, next I have my phone, it's just standard. Ooh, I have a text too. I'm popular, just kidding, it's from my sister. And I have this little case, it's a Sonics case. Everybody knows what these are. Now I have a picture of 
Obama is my screensaver eating an ice cream cone. Poor man, I'll always miss him. Okay, next your standard, just pack a gum. I don't wanna smell bad when I'm talking to people. Cute boys, anyone else? <laughs> Anyway, yeah, it's just the, um, this video sponsored to you by Orbit. Just kidding, I wish. Orbit, sponsor me. I don't have a lot of money, and you do, so if you want to hit a girl up, totally do it. Next, I have my Illustiva Porto Servo sunglasses. Aren't they cute and fun? I really like these. I've had these for a year. I got these for my birthday last year. And yeah, I, they don't, they do make them, but not in this color. This is like the, like, gold rim and then kind of like olive lens. Now they do like the gold rim and like a silver lens and also a gold lens, but I like these. These are my favorite. I'm kind of looking at another pair of Illustiva sunglasses because like they're the best sunglasses ever and um, they're reasonably priced in my opinion. I mean, I know that, I mean sunglasses aren't cheap. Good sunglasses are not going to be inexpensive, um, but these are good sunglasses and they're not like over the top. They're like reasonably priced and they're cute and obviously these have lasted me for a year and I really like them a lot. I have a buck knife, um, not for like a creepy reason, just because kind of like you need a knife every now and then. I just use it for tactical, tactile, tactical, I don't know. I use it for reasons like I need to cut this tag off or I need to cut open this thing and it's never done me wrong. Hopefully I don't have to use it to kill someone. Then like standard, I have keys, my Toyota Corolla. <laughs> Funny story, I had an old Mercedes and like when I say old, like 17 years old. <laughs> yeah, 17 years old, it's an old Mercedes. Um, and that little thing broke down all the time. I loved her to death. She was the best. It was white. Here, I'm gonna paint a picture. It was a 1999 Mercedes C240. Yep, C230? C240. And God, she was my queen. I loved her more than anything. But she broke down way too much. So then last year, or yeah, last year in October, um, 2016 October. I got a Corolla and I really love her too. She's great. She's a lot newer. Okay guys, this is the last thing in my bag. Look, it's all floppy now. Look at that. And see, I just hit myself in the chin. And you see what I mean by like, I don't have too much. I have like the necessities. Um, but it also, and like, it carries a lot though. Like, this little guy carries so much. Okay, but I had this little Chanel bag and I know Chanel bag. Look at that Chanel pouch. Look at this guy. I got it because I was gifted a Chanel lipstick last year for Christmas. And God, Chanel's packaging is so extra. They were literally like, it was like a box filled with beautiful like confetti, paper mache, sparkles and stuff. Then there was like this. Then inside there was another little pretty box. And then inside that was a box of the lipstick. Just like Chanel. You go above and beyond my expectations. So I got to keep this little bag and what I put in this bag is makeup necessities. First thing that I see is, <laughs> and I'm not doing this to be like glossier, 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 but I mean I work for the company, I love the company, it's the best. It's this Glossier lip gloss and I'm sure you guys have heard of it if you watch my channel. You probably like Glossier and you've heard me talk about Glossier so you probably know what this is. It's just the Glossier lip gloss and oh my gosh, this stuff. It's so lovely. It smells really good too. I'm gonna put a little bit on. And yeah, like it's just a lip gloss and basically it has like vitamin E and all these like really good moisturizing agents in it. And it is, it's like a thicker gloss but it's not like Sticky. And you know when you wear a lip gloss, it's first of all sticky and gloopy and just disgusting, like a terrible experience all around. This stays put and then once it fades, it like sinks in. It becomes like moisturized. It literally feels like a chaps. Like, like Balm.com was liquefied a lot and made like thick and shiny and then was a gloss and like stayed on the way that it like it didn't absorb immediately so this is like the gloss and it it stays on but once it starts fading away it absorbs and just feels moisturizing it doesn't do that gross thing that like most lip glosses do to me at least where it like doesn't absorb it like gloops on it like stays and then it like 
gets thick and like gets in like your corners of your mouth and like your lips and stuff and it's just gross and you have to like wipe it off that's why I never wore a lip gloss like this is the one lip gloss that I wear actively like I just put it on proof um that I wear actively and really like like a lot I love this I genuinely love this um and also like you can wear it while you eat like I wore this and got a sonic Reese's blast <laughs> And it was like perfectly fine. It didn't do that gross gloopy thing. I hate that. So yeah, if you want to get this, you can shop through my link below in the description. And if it's the first time for you, you get 20% off your order, which is really cool. Um, and free shipping. But if it's not first time, you don't get any like discount. You just get to shop through me and that's really fun. Next, I have Glossier Bone that calm, the coconut one. That's my favorite one by far. It's coconut and rose are my both both my favorite. And then I have this little Glossier sample, the priming moisturizer, just in case I need it. I stay at like a friend's house or something and I forget moisturizer. It's just nice to have these around. Then I have my I I really hope I don't butcher this, and I'm going to but just know that I hope that I'm not. Um, the Embroilise, 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 I don't know, but the Lay Cream Concentrate. And this is basically, it's like a just a fancy, amazing, nice French moisturizer. Um, and I use it on my hands, sometimes on my face, if my face is like super dry. And it does have a bit of a fragrance, that's why I usually just use it on my hands or like elbows or arms or whatever. Um, it's kind of like a floral fragrance, but it smells really good. And honestly, it smells like like a mom. Like, it's really comforting to me when I use this because it just smells very mom-ish and I really like that for some reason. Then I have my Generation G in Zip and this is my favorite color, the one in Zip. It's Zip and Leo. And then lastly, in this nice little Chanel pouch, I have the Lush Popcorn Lip Scrub. That's it for the What's in My Bag. I have it right here. It's all empty. So yeah, if you like this bag, I, I'm pretty sure it's called the Madewell Transport Tote. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.